It wouldn't be a complete week without a GTA 6 video. It just wouldn't. Things are starting to ramp up, and uh, the leaks and rumors are starting to fly. Not that they haven't been flying for years now. Welcome to Video Game Leaks, everybody. Chaos here. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about a leak that got shut down by a Rockstar employee. That's right. It is shut down completely. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have those notifications fully turned on. And Grand Theft Auto 6. Come on. It's one of the biggest games we talk about, but can you really blame us? Can you blame anybody? I mean, Rockstar has said next to nothing official about this upcoming open world game, but there have been leaks flying around for years, and it's our job to compile them and let you know what is being said about this project. And what's crazy is we know hardly anything, confirmed-wise, but if you go search YouTube and Google and Twitter, it's just years of content about GTA 6 and video game leaks is just as much at fault for that as anybody else because we are excited. Now, so far, we've covered a lot of leaks surrounding the next Grand Theft Auto game, including the location, the characters, the time period, the map size, the DLC plan, and so on and so forth. If you want to go look at those videos, there's some of the most viewed videos on the channel. You should be able to find them pretty easy. But what I wasn't expecting to wake up and read today was the fact that a former Rockstar employee actually took it upon themselves to single out one particular rumor and then just completely destroy it on Twitter. They just chopped it up. And since this rumor is one of the least popular, I think it's actually worth talking about. So let's go back in time. A while back, we reported that GTA 6 was going to be more politically correct and less offensive. This intel came from a number of gaming insiders who seemed to think that Rockstar was tired of generating so much controversy with every single new game, as well as the fact that a handful of edgy jokes and references had been scrubbed from the GTA Remastered trilogy. So, it seemed Rockstar was turning a corner and trying to be more broadly appealing to audiences, which, kind of a weird strategy since GTA 5 and GTA Online are some of the most successful games ever made, but okay. Now, it seems this rumor was completely unfounded, as a former Rockstar employee named Aaron Stewart on tweeted out the other day that this was wrong. Totally wrong. He said, As someone who quit working at Rockstar Games after a few months, the report of them making a more inclusive Grand Theft Auto is absurd and cynical. I mean, anyway, the Yakuza series is better, way funnier, more humane, and has at least tried to be astonishingly pro-sex worker LGBTQ. Now, Aaron is verified on Twitter. He has almost 30,000 followers. So I don't feel like he would go out and say this for no reason. And this is probably going to make some people upset, and it's probably going to make some people breathe a sigh of relief. And I'll explain in a minute. So the modern GTA discussion often turns to whether or not Rockstar is going to tone things down for future installments. I mean, look at the reboot, if you will, of Saints Row. It is a very divisive game because it is definitely going a different way from the past Saints Row franchise that made that Saints Row franchise what it was. But then again, uh, we are now in 2022 and we are in 2015, 2010. So it's kind of a debate for you guys to decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, it's totally possible the changes within Rockstar came after Aaron left the company and I'm not going to rule that one out. It's also totally possible the game was super raunchy and dirty when Aaron was working at Rockstar, but after he actually left, a whole bunch of things were cut or changed. Not necessarily to be more PC, but maybe for other reasons. Now, it's strange because it's not often we get a rumor reported, by, but I mean a whole bunch of high up sources in the gaming industry for someone close to the project to shut them down. We saw this a while back with the Gears Remastered trilogy, where seemingly everybody was talking about how it was real, but then... Everybody changed their perspective on a dime without warning. Why did they all change in unison? What happened? Was there a secret email sent that nobody knows about that told them to, to back off? I mean, it's just, it's really odd how that works. And if you look at Rockstar's track history of the games they put out, they don't ever seem to worry about being family friendly. I mean, the whole point of a game is if it has a certain rating, then you can uh, operate within the confines of that rating, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Now, we've been hearing quite a bit that Rockstar is trying to make GTA 6 less offensive and more inclusive, so a former Rockstar employee shutting the rumors down? It's interesting. I also can't seem to find any intel on when Aaron was actually at Rockstar or what Aaron actually did there, so it's also possible 
that he simply wasn't very close to the GTA project, but I'm not going to make any assumptions on that front, and Rockstar's a huge studio. I mean, yes, GTA is, is what their focus is, but that's not all they have going on over there, so maybe he was somewhere else in the building. I don't know. It's always a little bit of a weird situation when big rumors get opposite intel, which has happened more and more in the past. If you've been following video game leaks for any amount of time, I've said this multiple times. We are starting to get more and more conflicting industry insider sources. And I'm not talking about somebody that makes a Twitter account and they just try to farm likes. I'm talking about credible inside scoopers disagreeing. We see it more and more. They go at it on Twitter all the time now, and it wasn't like that in the past. So somewhere the rubber is going to meet the road, and one of these sources is going to be conflicting and be wrong, and that's probably going to damage that scooper, that inside source's career or their reputation because it's happening a lot. And usually uh, these rumors, they cooperate together, and that's how things come together. That's not how it's been. I'm not just talking about GTA 6. I'm talking about a lot of video game leaks that we've covered lately. It's it's odd. And then you have a lot of people attacking leakers. It's a different world out there. And uh, like I said, it's a bit of a weird situation when you have these big rumors get opposite intel. So we'll have to wait and see what comes out in the next few days. But if there's one thing I do know about the gaming leak world, it's that when one leak comes out, guess what? The, the, the water faucet is usually turned on. And then a whole lot more leaks come flowing out. The dam tends to burst. So if I were you, I would get ready for new GTA 6 insiders claiming the game is super offensive or super PC in the next few days. And as usual, guess what? We will do our best to sort through what's legit and what's not here on the channel for you guys. And I'm going to give you a prediction, a, a video game leak prediction. We do this from time to time. We've been right a lot. We've been wrong sometimes. I'm going to tell you right now, I truly feel... The GTA 6 will not hold back. I mean, GTA 5, we can all agree, did not hold back. Red Dead Redemption uh, did not hold back. And I'm not talking about raunchy with Red Dead Redemption. I'm talking about visceral and just basically wide open to do whatever they wanted to with it. GTA 6, pretty crazy as well. Or GTA 5, sorry. So my prediction is... GTA 6 is going to follow in the same vein because they know that's what made these games special and that's the formula and they'll just put the right rating on it and they're not going to hold back. I do not think GTA 6 will be dumbed down at all. That's just my personal opinion. My, I guess you could say my prediction. We'll wait and see if it ends up being true. Let me know what you guys think about it and we'll see you soon.